All right, Cubs fam, we got the Mandalorian best scar armor here on the hollow tables. Today's video, we're going to break down a lot of different teams that he can beat pretty easily. We'll talk mods and also go over some of his even defensive viability. We brought Clash here to do it. Go ahead and punch it, Chewie. Let's talk, man. All right, Clash DOE here joining us. And Clash, I got to point your direction here to this meme. You, you got yourself a Relic 7 Beskar Mando, and sounds like the gear cost, cost was quite a bit. You're like the Tiger King here. I'm never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I went in, you know, just guns blazing yesterday on my stream whenever I unlocked him. And uh, my, uh, my audience of 100 or so people that were watching got to see me turn white. <laughs> as I realized how many Kairos this thing is going to take. Uh, oh, it, was, it was brutal. It looks to me like they offset how easy it was to get him for a lot of people. I mean, easy is relative, but seven-star characters without gear requirements is easy in today's landscape uh, compared to, you know, obviously Galactic Legends or something like that. And so I think that's kind of how they offset it, unfortunately, which I don't love, especially because my Mando sitting here at uh let's see here i'll show this on screen we are only at gear nine and uh yeah we, we got we got a ways to go with this guy so all right so we're gonna talk clash you've done a lot of research on this you've done a lot of testing and this is the team right here that you think is the best we got quill ig11 beskar mando in the leadership spot with nest and kara dune and this graphic here that Clash has provided me with here, I'll, I'll um, let's see if I can uh, delete our webcams for a second. Uh, this is showing us the turn order that we want to have for uh, the Mandalorian team. Quill, you need to be the fastest, then Beskar Mando, then IG-11, then Nest, then Cara Dune for the optimal results. Can you talk to me just a little bit about this before uh, before we get into the meat of the video? Yes. Uh, so, th and re remember, whenever I was on your uh, uh, video the other day talking about this, I called that he would be in the 140 to 150 speed without having seen it, and he was 144. <laughs> and what that does, look at this guy. <laughs> one is proof that that uh, you know I have some scoundrel prophet uh, stuff going. <laughs> uh, but what it what it really does is uh, it made me have to remod all of my scoundrels because of that. Because you absolutely need him to go second. You don't need him to be blazing fast mm -hmm. what you need him to be is in the right order with everyone else and so i actually had to slow my both my kara and my nest way down to make sure that i could get him up high enough to take that second turn without sacrificing too much of his offense because his offense uh is obviously really important to the the damage from whistling birds and all that stuff so uh yes the turn order is way more important than having a like an exact speed per se Okay. Um, and it will likely require you to potentially slow down some of your faster characters. Interesting. So you want to slow them down. And, and they don't, uh, after Quill, they don't necessarily need to be blazing fast because Quill's going to give everyone turn meter on his first move. Right. And that's, that's, that's the important part is that you're, you're sort of making up for some of that speed loss by the sort of Quill being able to give everyone 25% turn meter. Yeah. And there, so the the you can and we can watch uh, you know it's almost pretty much the same in any of these videos. Quill goes first. He gives everyone twenty five percent turn meter. Uh, then IG eleven goes after Mando. So Mando goes next. He gives his uh, he goes into a stance right to mm -hmm. start stacking his uh, whistling birds. Then IG eleven goes, which uh, opens with the AOE tenacity down, uh, which then is followed by Nest able to apply both the days and the turn meter reduction yep. and then followed by Kara to apply another turn round of turn meter reduction. So that way, hopefully um, you you've landed enough of those things to where he can essentially erase whoever is going to, is going to be the first person he wants to. And the fact that he can uh, go through stealth and get around taunt whenever he's in that stance yeah. is yeah. really important to some of the counters that, that he can take out. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the stealth, uh, ignoring stealth is absolutely huge. And that, that only applies, if I remember right, when he's got a stack of whistling birds. Right. Whenever he's he's in his stance, right, he's, uh, he's ready to, like, he's just stacking the whistling birds and yeah. before he's ready to release them. He can mm. ignore... Uh, the, the only thing he can't ignore is the effect of, like, uh, the Sith Eternal Emperor's, uh, you know, 
right. buff, debuff that he has that that keeps him immune to it. But Mon everything else we well. can get around. In fact, uh, y- yes, but for Mon Mothma, it. I don't know that I would really even be able to take her down. With it's possible. I mean, you'll see some of the damage on these whistling birds. Uh, on one of the teams, I think I, we calculated it was about thirty three hundred thousand k damage to the <laughs> to the primary target. So, oh, man. Uh, yeah, it, it actually that, that that's a good point. That that could be the effect because she's not gaining a taunt effect. That's the only thing she's immune to is a taunt effect. You're not she's not you're not asking her to taunt. You're just saying you're now you know the language is she can't be targeted. So so it's not it's not a time uh, it's well, not it, a stealth for Mon Mothma in particular. If she if she can't be targeted in general, I need to test that one because I I was under the effect that she just couldn't have any. Uh, no, you're you're absolutely right though. There's no, there's no way he could probably taunt her then, yeah. or actually point in her direction. So um, let's look at this. So you're you're beating Gas here. Uh, I think this is one of the more notable battles. Uh, you're, you're beating Gas. You're beating Padme. Uh, we'll show Darth Revan here in a little bit. Very, very good against basically every meta team with the exception of Galactic Legends. Yeah, the, 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 the gas team was probably the toughest because, you know, by the time I had the full stack of Whistling Birds, there was still protection left on, uh, you know, General Skywalker. So it just kind of wasted all that damage on just putting him under cover. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you now the, the, the benefit of having healing immunity is critical here. Uh, it didn't end up saving him in the end. I think he still ends up dying to uh, uh, to gas. Okay, but uh, it 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 was it was one of the more challenging ones to get through. And if you're talking about on defense having a quote unquote hard counter, gas is likely one of the ones I would I would use if I faced a team uh, with uh, Beskar Mando for sure. But even then, if you're forced to use gas against. Beskar Mando, that's a win. You know, if, if you're putting Beskar Mando on defense and they're beating it in one go, but they use their gas to get it done, I think that's a pretty pretty notable um, notable draw there. Um, so, okay, so this is really good. Uh, beating gas might not be the, the most reliable against gas, but you do pull it off here. And I think it's also notable that in all of these battles, this was, this was not the best battle you got out of 10 losses and then here's the one win. This, these were all first attempts, I think, right? Yes, yeah. Every every battle in this footage is first attempt. So I'm I'm the what actually makes me most excited is that there's a lot of room for improvement. Yeah. Uh, the mods that I have oh, that yeah. that we showed in the graphic, those those are I would say probably ninety percent right. But there's still a lot of tweaks that I can be making to uh, to optimize it even further. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, I don't think it lasted more than. Yeah, oh, 40 seconds. Oh, look know. at that. <laughs> Grievous just take it out right at the beginning here. Let's watch that again. Replay. Boom. <laughs> I like how they yeah. just disappear. Just goodbye. <laughs> yeah, get, getting around that, getting around the fact that he's stealth is like awesome, right? Yeah. You, 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 you get those, you get those stacks of whistling birds and then you can target Grievous right out the gate. That, uh, that makes this counter so, so reliable, uh, yeah. compared to other things where you got to, you got to have your Jedi at the right speed so they can, you know, come out of stealth. You know, it's it's one of those scenarios where it, you can just blitz it. And this is I an think extremely I can, I confident with... win. Extremely yeah. confident win against against that. Okay, here's the Darth Revan battle. Now, as we're watching this, I, I want you guys to really sit down and, and enjoy the show uh, because these whistling birds are about to really pop off on on Darth Revan. I've already watched this battle. Here it comes right here. Just watch Darth Revan. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Now, I, I want to talk mods for just a little bit. Um, obviously, Quill needs to be the fastest. And I think it, it's important to note, uh, some people, when, when it comes down to a counter or a team needing to have one character go first in the field, um, it's really dependent on what their base speed is. And I wanna, I'll want i pause this footage here because this is the good stuff. Look at where Quill lies on the rankings of fastest characters. He's got 182 base speed. That's the same as BB-8. The same as BB-8. So the fast, the characters that are faster than him include Resistance Hero Finn, Zam, Jin, Rey, Scavenger, Princess Leia, Wat Tambor, Count Dooku, Shock T, TIE Fighter Pilot, Moff Gideon. And that's it for non-galactic legend characters. So most of those mm-hmm. characters you're not going to need to worry about um, beating him. I think the most notable is probably Moff Gideon um, because Moff Gideon would shut down, um, in theory, that because he's got the term meter reduction 
on on his kid. Mm-hmm. And so I think Moff Gideon's probably going to be a character to avoid if you're going against uh, against those teams with Beskar Mando. But other than that, getting Queel up to to be the fastest character in, in your squad yeah. is very manageable. Yeah, well, and, and, and the good news is, uh, well, good news for me, bad news for people that own Moff Gideon. On defense, he actually opens up with his Darksaber, so he, he, he can really? actually be faster, and it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's wow. pretty, pretty, pretty sad. I think they did that because oh, they, it's just, it would have been really OP if he could have opened up I, with that. I so, didn't realize uh, that. AI yeah, is so, so dumb. But on, so stupid. On defense, on defense, though, you can, yeah, on defense, he would definitely be, like, if you're playing this team with, yeah. uh, you know, Troopers or Empire, uh-huh. um, that could absolutely be a, a way you get around the sort of quill getting everyone going and, and you, you know, losing two people in the first 30 seconds. So um, if you don't have, if you don't have them, uh, you'll see some defensive footage that I sent you later. Uh, you can see it gets out of hand pretty quickly. Yeah. And we're, we're going to get into that right now. And so um, obviously we beat CLS there. So on, on this video in total, we beat shock T clones. We beat Padme. You beat uh, let's, let's go through the next one. Padme took a while. Um, you beat Gas. That was maybe the more dicey match out of all of them. You beat Grievous Handily. You beat Darth Revan. And you beat CLS. Talk about use, my friends. Now, here we go. This, this is a good one. So here's Empire trying to take out Beskar Mando. Watch how this happens, everyone. So here he goes. Whistling Bird's ready to go. And we're going to see some really, really sketchy damage here. I mean... Okay, so he is going to try to do his thing. He's going to get a little hologram here. All right, and then, oh, wow, everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> now, even with Darth Vader's speed boost clash, is is it really realistic to have Quill beat that speed boost under Palpatine lead and, and Darth Vader and everything? I mean, this is a 275 speed Vader, so... Wow. Um, wow. You tell me that my... My quill is at two or 347 right now, which um, isn't, isn't my fastest is that, set. If I put, how much speed is that from mods? Let's look. Um, do you have that right here? Does that, does that show? I have it. Yeah, yeah it, sh- it should be in there. Do you zoom in on it? I got to zoom in. You, you gave me some, some, oh, gram- wait, you know what? I, I, okay. So you got can, 32 speed, 20 speed. 22 speed, 17 speed, 28 speed, 28 speed. That's pretty ungodly speed he's, right there. For the common man, do you, do you think it's easy to beat Darth, plus, yeah. Darth Vader? I mean, so if you look on swigo.gg and you go to Vader, like the stats, and you see the little sort of bell curve of where they have his speed, there aren't that many over 260. Okay. Uh, and since you're not fielding any Jedi or Rebels on uh, this uh, this scoundrel team, I think you're you're still probably able to beat most of the Vaders out there. Once okay. you get into like the 275, 285 Vaders, um, then you're gonna have to start needing some you know really pretty okay. sweet mods. So check uh, to, check to mods if you're gonna place that. And anyway, but that's it's very interesting. Look at Night Sisters just getting destroyed. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> they did not even get a turn. Yeah. They did not even get it. No, it was, so, it was brutal. They, that, I mean, I don't know that that was a fair one. They only had, they only had three, I think, uh, three or four relic on that team. It was, it was kind of a joke, but, All right. um, yeah, the, it's, 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 I, and I'm also getting really close to being able to beat JML. I, I, I get it down to, uh, JML and, and Jedi Knight Luke on a couple of these, uh, teams that have been, so I should have some good footage of that coming later. Awesome. The, the next round I think of testing is going to be, of course, against, the GLs and see what we can do there. But so far um, against the sort of B to A uh, tier, you know, defenses that are out there, this is a really, really solid comp. And he, he adds just like what we were talking about the other day. He adds so much to the scoundrel faction um, yeah. with, with what he can do. I'm, I'm super excited. So from a it theory crafting, actually, but it was uh, very worth it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, just say it was, it's worth it. Yeah. It, it was, it was worth the financial loss that you're never going to recover from. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, at the end of the day, what it kind of looks like to me is as a theory crafter, this is one of the more plug and play teams. I think you've seen it doesn't, it doesn't seem like, I, I think with a lot of the compositions that you, test out your your 
tweaking mods, you're tweaking compositions, you're tweaking attack strategy, trying to figure out how to get something to fit, but it feels like this one just works. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you, you look there, he, he got pretty close to dying against Padme, so, you know, may, may, maybe I need to work on getting him a little bit, a little bit healthier, but yeah, the, the, I didn't, once I got the order down, that's, that's what mattered. Oh, and by the way, he triggered uh, his, uh, his bonus turn there whenever he went down. So yeah. uh, anytime someone drops below 75%, he gets that bonus turn. And the fact that he got That's an extra deal. stack of whistling birds. Yeah, it helps. So um, yeah, right again, here, Ahsoka hits him. Let's, let's watch this. So I think it's Ahsoka, right? She, she does her big yeah, hit. Ahsoka. Where is it? Here goes GK gets it. And then Ahsoka, boom. Oh man, I didn't even get a chance to see how many stacks of courage she had there. That was a, that was a big hit from Ahsoka. Uh, looks like she doesn't even have courage when she lands that. Oh wait, uh, I can't. I can't tell. It happened so fast. I, yeah, sorry. I yeah. I had this uh, sped up so that way, you know. But um, yeah, it it, it could it could have definitely gone the other way. And Padme, she had thirteen, 13? stacks of courage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that so. was a little bit, a little All bit right. bad RNG, and he still survived it. He survived thirteen stacks of courage on Ahsoka's ultimate. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you look at the damage numbers. I think that's oh gosh, what his his overall health and uh, let's see, it's seventy six thousand health on what I've got right now, and yeah. fifty eight thousand protection. So he's not got a lot, but remember, Quill is sharing a lot of his stats too, yep. um, which helps everyone. Which I think is is what people forget about how tanky this team is. So um, he, even with like you said, her her big special and thirteen sex courage, he still managed to get through it, but. I will say that I think Padme is one of the teams where Padme, uh, really fast Gideon led or Gideon with Empire, um, Gas, and then and then and then CLS are the are the sort of four quasi counters to this, and uh, it all starts with either getting in front of Quill or with from a from a Han perspective, just stunning uh, Mando first because if you stun him, then you know it you you pretty much lose the benefit of him being able to get his, you know, stacks of whistling birds going, which gives you a lot more control of the board. And so, then, and then you delay the um, damage immunity, those, those, and it's it's, an, it's a snowball effect that yeah. allows you to get ahead of the team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That, that's so, the, those those are four I would think about. But still, all of those counters, meta teams, all, all those counters are are you know a teams that, that you need to take against this. We'll see if there's anything uh, a little less uh, formidable that that would take him out, so you don't have to waste some of those teams potentially but for now it looks like you're gonna need to use something pretty solid against him so clash i want to thank you for coming in for this video it sounds like we, we've got more to discuss uh we'll bring you back if you find anything awesome on galactic legends and uh clash and i've been talking we want to do uh just so you guys are aware we want to work together on a little bit more of a regular basis talk theory crafts um etc clash is gonna go find his uh his nice microphone and uh, we'll be back uh, next week for something at, at the earliest okay um, thanks, man. Thanks, Cubs fam. All right. Thanks again for joining me for the video, fam. If you did like this video, please show it down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 50,000 subs. And stats show that 50% of you aren't even subs. So make sure you sub before you leave the video. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.